One thing that I've learned being in business the last eight years is that you cannot count on exactly what you're going to make every month, right? When you got a job, if you make $5,000 a month, you can pretty much say, hey, I'm going to make $60,000 at the end of the year as long as I have a job. But if you have a business, you can make $30,000 this month and next month you can make 10, right? So there's not a whole lot of consistency when you're in a freight brokerage business or a trucking business because it's based on different things, economic conditions. When you look at the freight world and freight environments, what, what happens in those environments affect freight, right? Because in our business, the gold is freight. As long as you have freight, access to freight, you can make money. But when that slows down, revenue slows down, right? So we have to accept the good with the bad and understand that will be periods of time in business where you're not going to make as much money. What is your game plan when that happens? Oftentimes I hear people talking about getting back to the good old times, right? And I think that depends on who's asking that question. What is the good old times for you? Now, for me, I've only been in the business now eight years. And in my mind, when I say the good old times, I'm thinking about 2021. Do I think we can get back to 2021, what we were doing during that time? Absolutely, certainly. That was just a phenomenal time. When you were talking to shippers and you gave shippers a price in a lane, it was like they were on the clock. They had to really look at that rate and say, OK, am I going to get a better rate somewhere else? Is it going to be a higher rate? They had to really think about that before turning your rate away. And what caused that was demand outstrips supply. So do I think we'll get back to that? Yes, at some point. I don't think we're going back to that time period where you just have so much demand and so little supply that it drives rates up as far as it did. But I do think that we're going to get back to a time period where we don't have as many trucks and that will be a good thing. How we're going to get there is through events that's happening right now, like what was going on right now in the economic environment. We're losing a lot of carriers, small carriers and big carriers are going out of business right now because of these tough economic conditions. That is a good thing. We need the supply to relax a little bit. We need trucks not as plentiful as they have been because when trucks are plentiful, rates go down, right? We need there to be more, a more even supply and demand set up, right? So that way we can get the rates back up and the revenue back up. But it's going to take some time. I don't think that's going to happen tomorrow, but I think we're headed in that direction. So a correction brings on better times for the trucking industry. And no, it's not just trucking that we need to see a decrease in these overall numbers. We also need to see a decrease in the numbers of freight brokerages, these fly by night freight brokerages that have come on the scene because there was such a big boom. When a boom happens, everybody looks to that industry and says, oh, I can go in that industry and do well. Right. That's what's happened in freight brokers. That's what happened with truckers. So we need to decrease the numbers in order to us to get to a better place as an industry. Right. Because when you don't have as many people offering what you're offering, better times. But now if good times to you mean you're going to be able to do the same things that you did 10 years ago, maintain these primitive businesses, not invest in technology, think that you're going to keep making great money. That's not going to happen. I think that those times have come and gone. We live in an environment now where you have to keep getting better, keep improving your service, keep improving what it is that you're doing on a daily basis because we are in a competitive business. The trucking business, the freight brokerage business, this is a very competitive space and you have to go in and compete. I know a lot of you say you're not into competing, but this is about competition and the better you perform in these circles, the better you are in your business, the better results you're going to see in your business. That's what I wanted to share with you today. I certainly hope this information has been helpful. If you want to learn more about the freight brokerage business, I'll leave a free link in the description. It's the five video series. It's going to teach you how the business works. It's going to show me in the office moving freight, talking to shippers, talking to carriers to give you an understanding of how the business works before you come into it. Have a great day. Have a great rest of your week. See you at the top because the bottom is much too crowded.